in most of the video games you have seen that when you look at the sun there is a distortion between the sun and our camera and this distortion is known as lens flare so to make the lens flare in godot we have a previewed add-on called as lens flare so to make the add-on go to my github page there you will find a repository called lens flare open the lens flare then go to code click on download zip once you have downloaded the zip open the zip once your zip has been opened select the lens flare main select lens flare ctrl c to copy it go to your godot engine right click here file system click on open in file manager and once you are in your root directory create a new folder and call it as add-ons open the add-ons folder and paste your lens flare add-on press ctrl v to paste after pasting it go to your godot engine go to project project settings under plugins you will see we have an add-on called lens flare effect and check the enable box close the terminal next select the main scene or the main node add a word environment node select the word environment click on this environment and select new environment again select the environment select the background change the clear color to sky select the sky and select new procedural sky click on the procedural sky select the sun and change the max angle as 2 and change the energy to 15 Next select the main node, add a lens flare as a shade of main. Select the lens flare and you will see we have a number of different options. If you right click on a 3D scene and if you pan around you can see we have a nice flare effect. You can tweak the settings as you want. For my case I have changed the flare by R to 9. Again you can tweak the settings as you want to get the flare effect as you like or as your game suits. So if you run the scene now. If you look at the sun and look at the sun, you can see we have a nice flare effect going on. If you exactly look at the sun, you can see we have a ring and much more. So if you want to add a sunshine effect like this, then just make the flare bias as 2 which is a default one. So that's it for the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial. If you have any questions, you can comment me below. Do like the tutorial, do subscribe, press the bell for the further notification updates and always. Have a great day.